Recently, we saw this video go viral on social media. Oh, uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's, I'm here live, but it's not, I'm not a cat. Yeah, awkward. But a very important thing to note over here is that that video that you just saw was basically a screen recording of a Zoom call. And a lot of users didn't know that they could actually use face filters on Zoom. Now, like that annoying guy in your class who spoils everything for everyone, I am going to tell you how to do just that. Hey guys, my name is Shubham, you are watching Gadget 360 and this is how to use face filters on Zoom. Now, by the end of this video, if you feel like it helped you out, do like this video and also consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell icon so that you receive our latest notifications. Okay, so this feature is basically called Studio Effects and it has been around on Zoom since September 2020 but only on its beta build. And it started rolling out to final build users only recently and that's probably why a lot of people are seeing it only now. Anyway, to try it out, first you'll have to start a Zoom meeting. When you look down on the bottom left corner, you'll find the stop video button. Don't click on that because just adjacent to that is an arrow that opens up additional settings. You have to click on that and then select choose video filter. Now this window will appear and here you will spot studio effects on the bottom right corner. Click on that and then download video studio effects package. Once you do that, you would be able to choose from different styles of eyebrows, moustache, beard and lip colours. You can also set the opacity according to your wish. You can choose from the default colours or pick a new colour as well. And then the risky bit which got the lawyer in trouble, you can choose to apply facial effects to all your future meetings. Now Zoom Studio Effects doesn't seem to be available on mobile as of now and since this feature is only available in beta, there is a possibility that you wouldn't have received it. But hey, now you know how to be ultra annoying in your classes. Anyway, that's been it for this tutorial. We have also done a lot of other quick tutorials like how to remove backgrounds from your photos. And also I've done another interesting one which isn't that quick. Uh, it's basically how to create your own stickers on Signal. Now, if you like this video, I told you at the starting of the video that do consider liking this video. Go down in the comments and let me know if I have done a good job of telling you how to do this. And also, for all things tech, log on to gadget360.com.